Nerd morning everyone, my name is Jeremy and today we're going to be talking about the comic books that are graded and the grading scale itself. So comic books that are graded kind of look like this. They are encased in a protective uh, plastic and they're assigned a grade which is the quality of the book. And there are a couple of different companies that do this. CGC, CBCS, and PGX are a couple. And those are different uh, companies that essentially do the same service. Some people like one over the other, but I am really quite impressed with all of them. Now, this guy here is a 7, and that's its rating. And then, of course, it has the comic itself, some information on the top. And those types of things are really nice because like this one, for example, it tells the printing when it was. It's on a white, white page print. That's what the type of paper that was used. Um, Carrie Kelly becomes Robin. That's one of the things that I really like this because I'm a big Carrie Kelly fan. I think she's super cool. So it has that, and also it has a skew here that you can actually look up and uh, get the information about why this book was graded with the score that it was. And that's that again, that seven that we got here on this particular book. So the grade itself is going to be scored between 10 and 0.5. 9.8 is really where I see most good comic books coming back at. Now, these are what are considered near mint. A 10 is a gem mint, something that's like really impossible to find. They're so amazing and they're obviously very, very rare. A 9.9 .9 is considered a mint and again, very, very rare, but they do come out obviously probably a lot more than a 10s. But really, most all books come back that are like new and really, really good condition at a 9.8 or a near mint. And a near mint is nearly perfect. Uh, it has a few very, very minor defects. And honestly, these are the type of defects that come because of packaging and, you know, a slight corner uh, that uh, just has a little bit of rubbed on it. So... It's not quite as perfect or sharp. Um, there may be a slight, slight, slight bend without any color breaks. Um, essentially, this is a perfect book. And that is just that it was printed and it was handled. That's like the only things that are wrong with it. And that's where you see things that are bought brand new that are sent in right away. That's what you'll really see those ones come out as if that's all good. Now the scales continue to go down at around a 9.4, they're considered um, still a near mint. And that is again, going to be in that ballpark of near perfection. A 9.0 is going to be a very fine near mint. Um, and so it's dropped down its score just a little bit more. An eight would be considered a very fine. And there are Again, scores in between this, you know, you might have a 8.5 or a, you know, a 9.3 or something like in there. And that's inside of that spectrum. But we're just kind of jumping through some of the bigger breaks of these different scores. And yeah, an 8.0, very fine. We're going to see minor corner wear. So on the corners, they might have some rubbing again that's showing some wear on the corners, probably just from being handled or things like that. Maybe a light accumulation of spine stress. So that means that, you know, you've been opening up the book and you can see that there's been a bending of that. Um, but there might be some color break. Again, if you open up the back of the book, the spine um, is going to bend the ink and that's going to break and cause a breakage in the ink itself and that's par partly where you're going to start to see some of those color breaks like really showing up and those right here are really more the talking about the spine you're not getting a big bend in the book itself um, so this is a book that's probably been used and read and that's kind of where we're seeing that you might have also a light collection of dents 
Um, and these aren't going to be massive or big, but maybe there's several of them, and that's kind of where we're hitting in at that scale. At a seven, so again, the book that we were just showing earlier, that Batman book, um, they might have things like a slight spine roll. So when books are stacked together, or maybe saved over a longer period of time, the spine might start to curl a little bit, and you might see a tiny bit of that going on at a seven. Uh, you will see more spine stresses probably that are breaking color, um, or they might have other type of slight issues. And you can also have a minor amount of water damage at a 7.0. Now, that's going to be very, very minor at this point. Um, but ultimately, our, from R10 down to a 7, there is going to be a clear visual difference that even if you weren't a professional comic book grader, you would say there's a clear difference between these two copies. Going down, this is where we see the quality really start to drop. Um, at a six, fine, that's going to be a lot more uh, scratches and uh, issues with that. Going down to a five, um, this is where I see a lot of really old comics that people have been collecting or swapping and, you know, maybe they're 50 years old or something like that books and they've seen the age of time. Um, these ones might have um, some splits, maybe some tiny tears. Um, the cover um, or might ha have like a missing staple or some discoloring due to, again, oxidization because it's just so old because it's been around. Um, maybe it has a moderate level of amount of water damage. Now, some of these things could happen in new books as well. I was talking about them with natural aging and stuff like that. But if you got a new book and you spilt water on it and then you got it sent into CGC, that water damage alone could drop its score pretty dramatically, even if it has no bends or scratches or other things, but it's got wrinkled pages because of that all that thing alone will drop it. So as I'm hitting some of these different details, these are some of the things that are generally seen, but they go from book to book basis, depending on what's going on with that particular book um, for that score. And they have all of these as guide rules in order to be able to uh, come to that score. Um, a four is considered very good, um, but honestly, very good means it's starting to get beaten up and it's really starting to struggle as a book itself. A 3.0 um, is still considered a very good, 2 considered good. Um, this might have um, major tears, heavy discoloration. Uh, it might have some staining, residue, and water damage. This is a book that has seen life and has lived and now shows that wear and tear. Um, it goes down to 1.5 at fair um, slash good, 1 at fair, and 0.5 is considered poor. Now, I see very few of those that actually get sent in and get graded, but some of the ones that I see maybe are like first appearance of Spider-Man. It's so old and it's been used and all of that stuff and they're thinking i want to preserve this piece of history even though it's going to have a low grade getting it encased putting it in protection is something that maybe people really really value and that's maybe why they're sending those in now these types of things are really useful for people who are trying to maybe find out if they have a book that's valuable maybe they're trying to resell it and the difference between the 9.8 and a 9.0 are dramatic in terms of value. And again, back down to like, if you're going down to a seven, the value again is going to jump and change dramatically. People who are just trying to have something that, you know, preserves a piece of history might be a little less concerned about the comic book grade value, but certainly if they're collecting and they want to have a beautiful, nice quality piece, that grade, again, plays into a big role there. And these scales are there to help you know kind of where the quality of that book is at. And again, most of these grading companies will have a detailed 
a list of what reason that score was given. And you can look those up um, when you have that comic and there might be a fee involved or some type of thing in order to be able to get that information delivered to you. But that's also a really great thing when you're buying or selling these graded comics. Hopefully this video is helpful for you guys to understand a little bit more about the grading uh, scale and getting that explained. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on all of my different platforms. You can find me at Nerd Morning on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and we'll catch you guys again later.